Ladies and gentlemen, day two, Golden Goblet. You hear that? That's nostalgia coming right through your frontal cortex, man. Kid Icarus, I always thought, man. Mario, Link, Zelda, Luigi. Nah, nah, nah. Kid Icarus. But to me, this was that deal. This game's got it. It's, it's, it's burrowed a special place in my heart. It's probably one of the first games I played as a kid with my dad that we kind of like weaved in and out. Um and beat it somehow but i mean when this game came out i was like two or three or three three and a half four years old um but it's a game that required i it's the first time as a as a kid i ever like had any map making right like so we'd make these maps on these grid sheets because this this game is it's when you get to the castles it's good eats anyways uh 15 minutes on the clock whoever gets the furthest here we go ladies and gentlemen no 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 we we need we're gonna need every we're gonna need every moment on this one because i think we I think we choked on the gradius one. Start. Start. All right, here we go. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the game. If you've never seen it, it's uh, it's just bottom line. Just it's it's just great eats. If you ever want, if you've never played this game and you're like, man, I, I missed out on some Nintendo classics. This has got it. It's got. It's a little bit, it's got some weirdness to it. It's got some sauce to it. There's eggplants in it. You can get turned into an eggplant. It's just, it's just good eats. In the upper left-hand corner, you see it's kind of a, a, for its time, a little bit unique of a life bar. It's that little inverted circle thing, AKA the square. So you see, we took a little damage and these hearts are not health. It's currency this little those hands so okay there's just so much to learn about the game right so you pick up that liar whatever you call it it turns enemies into hammers the hammers become useful in the castle stages now talk about i was i got scared by that thing that uh the grim reaper is uh You'll see it. It's the stuff nightmares are made of, especially as a three-year-old or four-year-old kid, even maybe as an adult. But just, I don't know. I just feel like the, you don't even see a game like this now, you know, with it's very creative. To me, this is honestly, I, I know there's games that people are like, oh, you got to play this. If you enjoy platformers that are difficult and have kind of some weird elements to it, this is this is quintessential good eats. I mean, you 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 play the harp and enemies turn into hammers. Like, do you need to see any more? And then you use those hammers later on in life to smash statues of frozen angel warriors. So that thing freaks out, plays a weird song, and summons those little do blue dogs. All right, we got to be frame perfect as city. So you, I'm not stopping in those places because those are like bonus levels or shops or stuff like that. So goal is to just get the furthest here in, in Golden Goblet. It's 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 any percentage speed run. This part's difficult from what I remember. Uh. Oh, yo, who needs platformality too? This is way harder. Yeah, okay. That's tough. I, that's tough. I mean, look, it may look like good eats, but that was, that's not easy. You're, you're dealing with an 8-bit frame set. All right, let's go next level. 311 on the clock. Oh, man, just, just for the sake to flex the game a little bit, I'd love to get to a castle, but I think it's... <laughs> it may be out of the realm here. We'll see. The cool thing about this is it's got some side perficacity, right? So, yeah, just think a little bit when you're jumping. It's like, yeah, yeah, a little verticality side scroll. I don't know what you would call that. 
I'm sure there's a specific name for it when you go left to right on a screen and it doesn't scroll. I right, just get this guy out of here. But also, look at that art, man. Like, the eye art, that's just to me, like, come on, 86, you're doing, what are you doing this with? The, that's not, not doing the Wacom tablet, I'll tell you that. All right, get these guys out of here. All right. Sacred words are your password. So pretty much the cool thing about this is, is however far you get, you get to, it's like a checkpoint, right? Just don't forget your sacred words. All right, we got to move here. This is a speed run. Plus, I really would love, I would be shocked if we could pull it off, but I would love to share a castle with you. And then to really get sauced up, show you one of the eggplant guys. Yeah. So that wine is health. All right, let's calm down here. We're gonna need some frame perfectity. Oh. I don't know what. It doesn't seem like it's it's hard, but man, it's. It gets the blood going when you're just suspended. Mid-air shooting little junipers. No! Oh, those column statues. I think that means the castle's close. <gasps> Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Kid Icarus. To me, this is a... Uh, it is a must play on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It just is. It's. Do I think you should play this or Zelda? This. Sorry, it's just is what it is. Is it a better game? You just you just gotta play it, man. I don't want to spoil anything. The boss fight at the end. You kidding me? You never seen anything like it in your life. All right. I'm not hyping it up either. Hey, okay. don't want to jump. Just jump, just jump. All right, good eats, good eats. Other cool thing I remember about this game as a kid is I feel like there's cosmetics as in Kid Icarus. Uh, Dan, the real lore is Pit. Changes colors. Like as you, I think as you get stronger. But you know. That's good eats. All right, hang in here. Just, we don't need any distractions here. Thank you. I said we don't need any distractions. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. Uh, we gotta get through this. Get through this. Get through this. Gotta get through this. I gotta get doing this. Should we shoot these guys? Okay, here we go. Little, little action here. Just. One misstep could mean the whole kit and caboodle. If we can make this yes just man they got to put a dancer up there uh oh she's gonna get us too just don't touch her go daddy go go this is madness Go! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, play. Don't. This. This is. Every jump matters. Column means end of the level. No! Get in there! So I told you there's weird stuff in the game, right? That was just. 
No! No! Oh, the exit was at the top. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> all right, all right. We got this, boys, we got this. I wonder, like, especially if, if Ryan and Melf never played this, I am, I don't watch their stuff during Golden Goblet unless it's like, it's extremely like down to the wire, but I will probably watch them both play this because I may assume that this is maybe, I don't call it, it's not avant-garde, but it's definitely not like playing Mario Brothers. So I want to see what their reaction is, especially I would, I would guess both of them probably didn't play it. I'd actually probably bet, bet a, bet a gold that neither of them played it. Did we lose that sauce? The sauce is gone. This is for pageantry chat. I, I, I comments, I got it. I feel like we don't get to a castle. A three-year-old self would be extremely disappointed, but we're playing loose. We're playing loosey-goosey right now. All right. Wasn't there some sauce up here? Oh. Oh, we short armed that jump too. We got a little lucky. Okay, we need to look for some wine. Also, I don't know what. Why is a kid drinking wine? <sighs> 68 heart. Come on. Come on. We got to do this, chat. We got to do this. We got to. Four minutes on the clock. Weird glitch up top. I think the sauce is above her, right? How are we going to get through this? <laughs> we cannot. She can't see. If she sees us, it's over. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for it to go right. And we're going to quick hop. It's, it's risky, but it's... Come on, we need a wine glass here. Wine glass, please. We got like probably two hits. All right, we got to do it. Come on, come on. You got to believe right now. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. I don't trust those guys. But we got to go. Oh. oh, I don't, th I think there's one more before a castle. Yeah, this is it, man. I may, you know, just, just for quality and strategy, let's die here. We'll get full health. We got to run the table to get you guys to a, to a castle here. Let's run the table here. I don't know maybe is this nostalgia i don't know I, I mean clearly it's nostalgia but it's just a good game too because the whole game isn't like this this vertical climbing which it's still fun like this is still really fun it's just extremely minkus um but it just it goes through a couple dynamic the game goes through a couple dynamic changes with different level styles it goes from like this to like a metroidvania in the castle but aka like it's it's not linear i mean there's a beginning and an end but it's not like come on guys get off me can't touch those spikes i'm just trying to go as fast as possible here And that's the funny. This is the, this is the funny thing because I don't want to see it for me. I want to see it for you. Because I feel like it's the all-time head shifting moment. How are we doing on time? Thirteen and a half. I gotta think we're getting pretty close here. These guys, just run, just run. Tr don't trust the bugs. Eddie. 
<laughs> Too many shots. Oh, get the get get the harpsichord. Get the harpsichord. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Oh. Oh. I think that was good eats, man. Oh, we're in, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Come on, come on. Do not touch the fabricated arms. No more fabricated arms. <sighs> Please be a store. Please be a store. Sell me something. Oh, we don't have enough monies. You could buy a credit card in the game too, I think. Buy stuff on credit. Oh, we're in trouble, Daddy. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this game is hard, man. And when you beat this, like, you feel like you accomplished something. I, I, you know, I'll be surprised. It, you know, I'm gonna... You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning, but I, I gotta think we got the gold on this. This is... We're gonna give it one more hearty shot. So that, so that, call it right there. We made it to whatever the, the harpsichord Mancus is, but we definitely played it fast. But super excited to bring this to the channel. You know, even just a little one-off, but I do, I, I really want to flex the castle for you guys. What's in here? So this is kind of like a cool little challenge level. You can fight those. I think they're called Mausers. To me, they always just look like big noses with mustaches. But it's like another way to earn currency. But if you get hit, you get hit. So it's complete risk and reward. Risk, maybe the first acquiescence of risk and reward we played as a kid. All right. Uh, also, I don't think I showed. So like this is kind of the map. So if you get a map. Or that you have to find a map and you can find a pencil and it will actually map a level for you. Not a level, but it will map a, a castle for you. Which we are going to do our darndest to get to. Let's go right this time. That's, that's some BD. What's in here? Oh, we could have that's another gambling thing. So, another thing in this game, if you get one of those rooms, those pots, and you, sh it's like a loot box. You shoot, you shoot the loot box until you get, essentially lose all your money or you crap out. AKA find that little skeleton looking thing. All right, man, this is. I'd love to b go through and beat this game. I don't. I just don't know how long it would take. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And this is kind of one of those almost like Dark Soul esque saving games. Like I'm. I won't do a Dark Souls randomizer because I want to save it. This is kind of like one of those saving games. Like I would never watch a speed run of this because I don't know. I, I just don't remember it enough. Is it? I need to have that. I don't remember it enough to to beat it. Go. Oh, these jumps have got to be FP. Come on, baby. 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 Just go. Come on. Split them. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, chat. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to this at some point just because I love this game so much. But thank you guys so much for dialing in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Golden go Goblet video day two. We'll be back with some more action tomorrow. Appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. Want to catch up on the Dan Geesling Show because you can't catch it live on Twitch? Then go to youtube.com slash Plays. There you'll find every single one of our live shows cut up in an easily digestible episode for your viewing pleasure. Episodes are up within a couple days of the show. 
so you're never too far behind if you want to catch up and watch live. That's youtube.com slash Plays to watch anything you might have missed on Twitch.